if you use Elementor a lot to make pages or posts, then you are going to find this video very useful. In some cases, you like to use buttons with different designs or style for different purposes. For example, you might want to use a button with orange background, color or squared corners for call to actions. But Elementor doesn't have, have the safest template for its individual elements or widgets, whatever you call it. But we can make use of the option called Save as Global to achieve this. For example, I have used or I used this line button save this line button as a template with the UCS a different style but when I when I add the default button over here it's different so do you see the, this is different okay I save this one as a template so let me just show you how you can achieve this okay firstly let me delete this okay Firstly, let's delete this thing. Why isn't it deleting? Okay, wait. Okay, sorry, uh, my browser got stuck for some reason. Okay, so let me just show you how you can save it as a template. Okay? So, firstly, what you need to do? This is a default button over here. So, what I can do? I can make some changes to it. I can change the background color to this orange and then I can also remove this background radius okay this is over here this button then I can over here save as global but if you do save as default then it's going to re replace the default button you have over here okay this is the default button over here so it's going to replace this one but we don't want that we want to have different kind of style let the default button stay the way it is but i want an orange version okay for different kind of purposes okay orange color button another separate like just like i have the line button so what i can do i just quickly readjust the background color to something like this green hover okay fine now left click sorry right click over here and then save as global i can name it as orange button okay okay so now it's a global element over here okay if i add another button you see in globals you'll find this or thing is that these two are linked with each other for example i want to i can change the text over here by now you see the top one also updated okay that's the thing buy now button the top if you make if you have several buttons like this all over the website if you change make changes to one of them all of those button is going to be updated okay just okay so if you change one of the buttons at one of the at one place if you have similar buttons like this and they are all linked to each other if you change one of them then all of them are going to change whatever you change to make the text the link etc but what i am trying to explain over here is that you just want to have a template over here of the button okay you can have this so let me let me just rename the text over here over here click here okay you see the top one also changes let me just okay top one also changes 
Okay, let me just put them on link. What I am trying to explain is that, so this one is linked, this one is global and this one is linked. But what I want to do, I want to have a button, I just want the orange as a template. So, it, it does not affect any other buttons anywhere else, okay? because I might have the same look, but I might also might have this text different and I also might have the link which button has also different. So, what I need to do, I need to unlink this, okay? unlink. Now, if I come over here, I just change the text over here by now. Okay, then you see it doesn't change. It doesn't change affect the linked linked global widget. Okay, but if I add, you see the linked one got a paste color like this, and it's got a pink color like this. Okay, and if you click the linked global button, 